Did you ever feel like you bombed? Mm, I don't think I've ever felt like I had like a, a oh, um, the closest, the closest it was that I can uh, remember that, that felt like that was, um, it was a hood slam event in San Francisco and uh, the little Ronald McDonald dude, um, Mikey, the wrestler slash comedian, he had booked me to do like, a, I think a few locations, maybe a three day thing or something. And one of them was at the hood slam thing. And it was just a horrible place to, to do stand up. And especially me, maybe if it was someone screaming and jumping and dancing, maybe it would have worked. I don't know, but hood slam was famous for crossing lines at that time and being like extra bold and the referee would smoke joints while he's in the ring during the match. And I think girls would show their tits. So it was like something that was like a real extreme thing. And the, and, and they thought it'd be a good idea to have me go in the ring, uh, I think to open it or something. So I'm out, they want me to do like 20 minutes or something. I'm in the ring and I, nobody can hear me. I can't even hear me. You know, the sound system's so shitty. And so with my mundane, uh, you know, facial features and stuff, you know, I'm just, you know, just talking like, uh, yeah. So, you know, I always, uh, blah, 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 and, uh, blah. And it, that's the closest that I think just cause the whole thing didn't work at all. But, but, you know, it's not like people turn on me and were booing or you suck or anything, you know, that can remember. They just, it was just like, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna, go over my set or my jokes in my head and practice uh, uh, getting it down and, and um, you know, working on my material. And so that's that's what I did for a few minutes until Mikey called it off and said, all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start with the wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's a good way to do it, though. It's just like, oh, it's kind of like batting practice. I mean, just get okay. Especially starting out uh, some really crappy places sometimes, you know, where it's, it's not even – made for that and, and people can't hear you and they don't even anyway that's that's part of it you know um and i was doing those still some of those kind of venues as early as a couple of years ago but now i'm like nah if it's a comedy club then i'm in if, then they're there to see comedy not to drink at the bar and i'm interrupting them you know